Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini Intruder, and welcome to the 5th Anniversary Special! Oh yes, 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 yes. So, if you've been around a little bit longer, you may be aware this is a bit of a um, annual tradition for us. Every single year, on the channel's birthday, the anniversary of the very first video we put up, we make a little cooking special. I come here with all my friends. Hey guys, we just all come together and we make something for you in the kitchen. I have made some spectacular things in the past. Truly flipping spectacular. I have made cakes, full three course meals, and there was... what was the other one? I've forgotten the other one. Then last year I made a wedding cake and it was utterly utterly beautiful but this year this year i am going to take things to new heights this year i am going to turn food into art and the particular art we're going for is this little wonderful bundle of fluff this is tabby she's our cat and don't worry i'm, I'm not i'm not planning to bake her what i'm planning to do is i'm going to make a cake that looks just like tabby i am going to make Food art! It's going to be great! Now you see what I particularly like about this cake recipe that I've found, because really I just want to kind of get through the cake. Like I'm a cake expert at this point. This is my fifth year of doing this. I am a master of cakes. I just want to get past that bit. So I found a recipe that basically says all these, like, you know, all these ingredients at the back and whatever, like this, this, this flour or whatever. The recipe basically just says, rather than like, oh, mix the, the flour with the butter and then beat until it feels like velvet or whatever. No, this recipe just says, get all this stuff at the back and just basically shove it all in a bowl and then beat it together, which is going to save me so much time. So I'm just going to do that. Also, um, I'm ignoring the recipe because um, the recipe says a certain amount and I don't know like how much I actually need because I've never made a cat out of cake before. So I'm just going to basically add like more. So hang on, the, the recipe says the recipe. Oh, that's, I wasn't supposed to open the flour. Well, actually I'm not sure whether order matters, but like just in case order does matter, I'm, I'm going to like open it and do it in the order that like it's listed in the ingredients. Because that's what Claire advised. I kind of, I ran all this past her first just to make sure I wasn't going to set anything on fire. I can't, I can't get the bloody... Right, I need some scissors. I can't get the thing open. I couldn't find scissors, but I've stabbed it with a fork. And that's good enough. Uh, so, oh! So what's actually just happened here is if we just turn over in this direction. Um, I may have just, 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 there we go. I may have just slightly got the... Okay, this is, this is a good start. But you see, what's good is this bit just happened at the beginning, so I can basically just, like, get a jug and just, like, put most of this into a jug and get relatively, relatively little sugar onto the ground. Now, there's also some flour. I think there was a hair in there as well. It's okay. I got out the hair. The hair has been removed. There is not going to be hair in the cake. So this is all fine. I've got, like, this sugar back. So now I just add the 300 grams of sugar that we wanted in the first place. That's, that's like, 50, 50 grams. So now the rest, we just, like, we add in out of the, the packet like this until it reads 300 on the scales, which are a device you can use to figure out how much that's 311. Right, that means the cake will be sweeter than it's supposed to be, which is a good thing. So that's, that's fine. I don't need to bother doing anything with this right now. Instead, all I can do is just basically flip in, crack on, and add more stuff. Okay, slight miscalculation though. Um, I'm currently barefoot, and, and the sugar, it's, it slightly went on the floor. So it's, it's now painful to walk on the floor. So I'm, I'm just gonna go get like a, a dustpan and brush. I'll be back in a second. Right, next up is supposed to be some butter, which is supposed to have been like softened. So I've just left it out on the side for a bit. And it seems, I mean, it seems pretty soft. Like I'm cutting through it, like, you know, the knife is going through it like a knife through butter. So basically that's, that's probably, yeah, that's pretty soft, that's fine. So we just basically just toss some butter that I'm just going to cut up into, not exactly like small chunks, I can't be bothered. That is, wait, how much butter is this? Hang on, this is, it's 250 grams of butter. How much butter do I need? I should have 300 grams. So I just need like a little bit more butter from the second packet, which is right over here, and then and then that will be absolutely that'll be all absolutely fine. Hang on, there's the there's there's the second there's the second butter. It's right here. So that's like wait 250. So I need like a fifth of. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. I know how to do this because I learnt it. This butter doesn't do the thing. 
This butter doesn't... How am I supposed to know how much butter there is when it doesn't do the... Claire! Right, I've got another solution. I'm just going to use maths. So, like, that's, that's like, about a fifth of the butter. So, that the fifth of the butter should be absolutely fine. So, just, just shove that in there and, and, and shove that shove that in there, too. There we go. Right, that's, that's the butter. Next up is four eggs. It's really unspecific about whether I need eggs, yolks, or both. Hang on, I'm just going to Google that. Okay, the instructions seem a bit vague on this bit, but, like, most guides online seem to imply that, like, an egg is, like, you know, good for a cake. Like, the yolk contains the fat or something. So, as a result, like, eggs, eggs are good. So, I'm going to assume that this here, this is a good thing. And the cake will be more moist. So, instead, what we're going to do now is we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to break an egg into the mixture times... Four times, no, but I'm increasing by, f okay, we're gonna need like, um, six. We need six eggs. Now, the thing I'm becoming a little bit concerned about here, as I look at this kind of, you know, thing, um, I'm not sure whether I've necessarily got a big enough bowl. Also, I need this to be back on again, because now I need to add in 300 grams of, the hell's, the, just, the, zero, zero. I need you to zero, the, right, my scale's broken. My scale's refusing to tell me what the... Okay, well this is fine. This, this here is a brand new packet of self-raising flour. And it's, it's 1.5, 1.5 kilograms of flour. I need 300, so I need 20 odd percent of, of the, of the thing. So 20, okay, it's about, it's about up to, okay, it's up to, it's up to about like here-ish right now. Okay, so if I get it to, so it's about up to where it says, yeah, that line. If I just do that until that's fine, that should be about the right level of flour. I promise, okay, if I, and if I hold it up to the window, I can see when that is. So we're just going to keep putting that in for the time being. And I think that's, is that right? Is that, okay, bit more, bit, bit more. Okay, so that, that's pretty much a cake. What I'm going to do now is, actually no, I think there's, there's very little left, isn't there? There's, there's three, three tablespoons of, right, three tablespoons of, of cocoa powder. I'll just, I'll just like add them in now. So just, I don't know whether they're like heaped or, okay, I'm just going to make them heaped. Because heaped tablespoons will increase chocolatiness. And this is, this is going to be like a nice chocolate cake. Right, so that's three heaped tablespoons. Uh, what else, what else do I need? I need two, two tablespoons of milk. Those can't be heaped. Because milk's a liquid, so um, spoiler warning: it doesn't it doesn't heap. Uh, so we'll just kind of do like that's cock. Um, that was like probably it's probably fine. Uh, so there's a bit there's a bit of extra milk floating around, and also I've, I've just accidentally got I've got some cocoa in the milk now. So Claire will be thrilled um, because now what I've done is I've given us all chocolate milk. So that's that's good. So that's that's that. I think there's there's one more thing. So there's like there's vanilla extract. To, uh, half a half a teaspoon. Oh, don't forget the baking powder. Do not forget the baking powder. Right. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of this. Honestly, one like really heaped teaspoon should be fine. Vanilla's half of me. That's going to be three quarters. Just need to get the bloody. There we go. Plastic plastic covering has been removed. So three quarters of a teaspoon of. It's, it's probably fine. Right. So. That, that right there, cake. Um, I just need to mix it all together at this point. Because uh, this, okay, this is what the recipe says. The recipe specifically says, large bowl, beat all those together. Do you have, oh, pinch of salt. It wasn't in the ingredients list. What if I didn't have any salt in my kitchen cake? Then I'd be screwed. I just need like a, a pinch of, is that, is that a pinch? That's, it's probably more than a pinch. It's, it's fine. It's not like the cake's going to be salty. It was not that much salt. Um, so. I just need to beat all that together with like a, I don't know, a spoon or something. I don't know what this thing is, but it broadly looks like it will kind of do the job. Now, my concern is I may have, I probably should have done this in like stages as we went along. So now I just need to basically, f oh, the bowl is not big enough. This bowl is, is not flipping, what the hell is, it's just, it's just a giant clump of, what the, oh, that's the butter. Right, yeah, that's the, oh God. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the, the mixer, but I am going to use the fudge. I'm going to use the giant 
a giant bowl thing because the mixer comes with yeah the mixer comes with a giant bowl so i'm just going to use that you see this is going to be so much bigger so new wide out zoom angle for this so all i need to do now is just basically pour all of this into into here and then there's going to be you know what the actual decanting will help with the mixing it doesn't help that i'm a bit of a oh the butter's got oh the the butter and the sugar have formed a bit of a gloop at the bottom i'm gonna be honest that's that's not nice that's not oh bloody hell Right, so 99% of the ingredients are gone, that's fine, and now I've got this new, this new thing, and now with this new environment I can actually beat all this together. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna work so much flipping better, because now I can actually stir it, like, a bit more vigorously, without having to worry about just, like, throwing it everywhere. I mean, I'm still throwing a bit of it everywhere, I can see there's already, like, stuff all over the surface, but for the most part, this is going to be a nice, fast, accelerated cake mix. And it's going to be a probably... Uh... You see, the problem is, now I think about it, this is now going to take so long to flipping beat together, I probably should have just, like, you know, done it separately in the first place. If I'd just done it separately in the first place, in, like, little stages, then it probably would be, would be faster. Okay, um, new concern. Like, the recipe says that I should mix this together until it's pale. Which makes me think I may have made a mistake with the volume of cocoa. Because this, this is not going to go pale any time soon. And also there's, there's a lot of just flipping butter. This is really hard work. Like I can see why whoever invented electric mixers did it. Like this is hard. Okay, it's not pale. It's not even close to pale, but it is mostly smooth. After I figured out that the little kind of like blobs inside it were just basically butter. So I've basically just like squeezed them by just taking them to the side and just kind of squeezing them with a spoon. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the result. So that's, that's gonna do. That's cake mix, right there. Nice and flipping simple aside from the various problems. So, with the mix actually done, it's time to construct ourselves a cat, or rather start producing the body parts of a cat. Now, I've prepared for this. So, what we've got in is number flipping one. That is a deep oven dish, and that's gonna be Tabby's body. Like, that's gonna be like her, her back here, and this is gonna be like like her tummy here, and it's gonna be like the, the thick back bit. Okay, so that's fine. She's gonna be in the sitting up position, by the way. Now, we're also gonna need a bunch of extras, which is why I brought that in. This little oven dish here, that is going to handle stuff like, um, like the legs. We're gonna just cut the legs out of whatever gets made there. Now, the cat's head is a bit complicated. Cats are complex creatures. So, that is why this is a moment of genius. Yeah, the, I don't know what that is. It's like a Yorkshire pudding tray. Might be a Yorkshire pudding tray. It might be like, uh, it's like a, a cupcake tray. I guess it's a cupcake tray. I don't know. I think it's still battle scarred from last time, by the way. Like that, that mark in there, hang on. Yeah, that mark there, that was from me, I think, trying to get something out with a knife last time. So this thing's still wounded from the last time I used it. Now, my slight concern is I'm not sure I can fit all of this in the oven, so it's going to need to be done in, like, stages. So we're going to do the body and the legs first and construct that while we're also putting the icing together. And then, after that's done, then I'll put the head in because the head comes up last, okay? This is all going to be absolutely flipping fine. I'm also going to make sure I leave enough actual... Yeah, I've got to make sure I leave enough mix for the head. So do not put all of the mix into the containers. So, in goes the first- oh wait, hang on, no, no, no! Oh, that almost went wrong. No, 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 I'm prepared for this, alright, I've been doing some research. So, this is called greaseproof paper. I can use this to make sure that the cake, once it's made, actually comes out, and also I don't destroy this oven dish, because this is like a really nice, fancy, expensive one, so I must not destroy, okay? Hence this. So if I've understood this correctly, literally all I do is I just shove this in here, like like this or something, I don't know. Just shove this in here, right, and then just like wrap it around the outside, like this, okay. And then I just rub a bit of butter on the inside. Does that look, does that look all right? That looks fine. That looks probably fine. So now I just get a bit of, do I have any butter? Is the cooking? I swear I had some butter. Yeah, I've got some butter left over. I've got some butter at the back here. So now I'm just going to get some butter 
and I'm just going to basically just take it like like this and I'm just going to basically say, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. Hang on, I'm just going to like cut off a bit. Okay, when I say cut off, I can't be bothered to cut off a bit of butter. I've, I've just basically pulled off a bit of butter and I'm going to use that to basically butter the inside of the paper and this is fine. There we go. That's fine. So now I've got buttered mostly um, paper. Oh, I've got butter all over my hands. That's fine. So that's now that. Okay, now what we need to do now is now, now we add the mix. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, now the mix just goes, goes the, in there. I don't know how much mix. Like, cake risers. So I don't need to, like, fill up this thing or anything. And also, um, how much have I got? Okay, I've got plenty left. I've got plenty left, and this is going to be the biggest bit of the cake. And I need this bit of the cake to be thick enough that after I'm done, what I can do is, yeah, after it's done, I can I can cut it, and then I can add a layer of buttercream into the middle. So that is... I really hope that's enough left now for Tabby's, like, legs and whatever. So now we just even all of this... Hmm... I'm starting to be worried I may not have made quite enough mix. I mean, it felt like quite a lot. Like, the recipe was for a big cake, and then they upped everything by 50%. But it's possible this is, in fact, not not actually enough at all. But it'll probably do. It'll probably be fine. So we just now get a second sheet of paper and some more butter, and we just butter up the paper, and that's, that's fine. That's probably a bit too much. Okay, I'm just going to toss some of that butter away. There we go, got rid of that, don't really need any of that. Uh, so now, now if we just add some more mixture, oh, I'm a bit, hmm, I'm a bit worried I may have gone overboard with that. Actually, no, there should be, there should be enough for Tabby to have a head. Like, this doesn't need to be, to be much, to be honest, but then again, there's, there's not a, no, there's not actually a huge amount left, but we're just going to have to make do, because my arm's tired from all the stirring, so I can't be bothered to make any more. Right, they're in the oven, they'll be 20 minutes. So time to start working on the rest of it, which is I'm gonna need a lot of chocolate for the buttercream or whatever. So, as I'm actually gonna be needing chocolate throughout this process, I'm not just gonna do something stupid, like putting chocolate in the microwave. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do this all clever and smart, like a chef-like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start creating a water bath. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna slightly heat up a little bit of water. Now, I don't wanna boil it, I just want it to get warm. And the reason I want that is because once that's done, I can slap a bowl on top of it. Then I can put the chocolate in the bowl. And then the chocolate, if I... Well, actually, Claire said, like, chocolate melts not so much because of temperature, because of agitation. I'm not 100% clear on that. But I think it just means if I poke it a bit and just keep it warm, then the chocolate will stay melted. And then I can just keep using the chocolate for, like, whatever. So that, that strikes me as good. Okay, so next up is the buttercream. Now, I've learnt my lesson. I'm going to chop the butter into, like, slightly more manageable bits as we just kind of put it in. But no offense, this butter's been, like, out on the side for in quite a warm kitchen uh, for some time at this point. So that should now be basically fine. I'm just going to hack this up a little bit into some little more manageable pieces. Right, so that's butter. I'm going to leave, like, a little bit actually stuck in the packaging because I'll need that later for the, the grease paper buttering of the things. You know what I mean? The, the muffin tray when I want to make Tabby's head. So, um, next, now the recipe says, um, so that, that's all the butter, and then I need 400 grams of icing sugar, which actually means significantly more than that. My water bath is, my water bath is warming up, but it's not boiling, and that's good. I don't want it to boil, I just want it to be warm. Right, that's 380 grams of icing sugar right there. So I'm just going to grab that. So 380 is about two two thirds of what I need. So that's hang on, just get all that, all that, look, just just all of it, all of it, get in there. There we go. And it even creates a nice dramatic smoky effect too. The most dramatic of all ingredients, icing sugar. Uh, so that's that's 300, 380. So I'm going to need I'm going to need more icing sugar. Okay, that could, that could be a problem. I, I hope I remember to buy some more. Yes! I remember to buy more icing sugar, this is fine! Oh, hang on, my, my water bath is a little bit too high. My water bath is starting to simmer, and it's just slightly starting to, to steam as well, which I don't want. So I've just turned that right down, because I want it to be warm, but I don't actually want it to be to be steaming or whatever. And this is... I've just... 
Okay, hang on. I'm not gonna stab this open with a fork, no matter how much trouble I have with it, because I remember what happened last time. So I need 220, this is 500, so broadly I just need, I just need half. I just need half of all of this, so if we just basically put about half of this in, that's mm, slightly more. There we go. I need plenty of flipping buttercream. So I need buttercream for the middle, and then I need buttercream for all of the icing. So, so that's that's fine. That should be all the icing sugar we need. Oh, hang on. I think I've just closed this. I think I've just broken the... Oh, I'm getting... It's fine. Don't worry. I'm just making a mess over here. Right, back over to my water bath, which is simmering maybe a bit too much, to be honest. I might have to actually turn that off, because I can't, I can't get that down any lower that's literally on the lowest but we'll see we'll keep an eye on that so my plan is now to just basically pop a bowl right and it's actually it is producing steam which i don't want right okay this is going to be warm enough for the time being i'm now just going to turn this off for the time being so that's just now off uh but i've still got a nice warm water bath so now i put this right here and steam still steam still can escape that's fine it's, it's not a very good bowl so now i just take my chocolate and i dump the chocolate in here just toss all the chocolate in there, and this chocolate will just, if I agitate it, whatever that means exactly, if I just agitate it, then this chocolate will, over time, at least it should, yeah, it, it's definitely beginning to melt. This bowl will warm up, this chocolate will melt, so that's going to be a good big supply of melted chocolate without using a microwave. So this is all good. So, while my chocolate's melting over there, which is starting to happen, this stuff just needs to be beaten together, which it says I can just use a, um, uh, it says just use a fork to beat together the butter and the, and the icing sugar. Now, I'm going to be honest, there's, there's quite a lot of icing sugar to, to not much butter. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this icing sugar and I'm just going to throw it in the bin. There we go, that's fine. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, the chocolate's melting nicely, and now cake number one has come out. It is time to stick a thing into the... Oh, clean. That is beautiful and clean. Okay, that cake. Cake number one is done. Now the question is, is cake number two going to be done? Okay, cake two, and also cake the main. This is going to be the big one. That, that feels... Okay. I was about to say that felt good. That is, that is not even close to done. Right, the cake's back in the oven and the chocolate's nice and melted and I don't think I need to actually leave it to cool like the recipe says because I didn't put it in the microwave so it's fine. Um, I'm not sure what this is really supposed to be looking like right now to be honest. It's kind of crumbly. But I feel like if I add a liquid that'll help. So what I'm going to do is, well first I'm not going to add a liquid. I'm just going to add in some, oh, I may not have enough cocoa. Actually these are heap tablespoons of cocoa, it'll be fine. Here's the important bit right here. I want to add in some flipping milk, because I feel like once there's actually liquid in this, that was probably more than one and, and like three. I'm just going to add in extra, because I feel like I need liquid in here, because this isn't working. Uh, okay, so now there's extra milk, and now I also need to at some point add in that chocolate, which is just chilling out, being nice and melty over here. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to kind of give this a bit of a, a bit of a go. Just see if this... Hmm... Okay, I mean, like, I, I appreciate there's there's some liquid in here now, but this is this is supposed to be icing, which I always would have, you know, assumed would be, like, liquid. Unless... Okay, I'm going to skip to the next stage. I'm going to add in just a little bit of nice chocolate into this. I'm just going to pour in a bit of chocolate. You're going to like this. The chocolate looks absolutely lush. Uh, so, we got ourselves... Look at that. Look at that nice chocolate. I'm just going to pour in some of that right now. So I'm just going to pour in some beautiful chocolate. Not all of it. Not not all of it. Not all of it. And I'll tell you what, anything that's on the rim, I'd say is mine. Mmm. Mmm, chocolate. By sword right. Okay, this at least is now starting to be like something of a... I wouldn't call it a liquid. Honestly, it's, it's kind of like the consistency and texture of brownie. And also there's still a lot of flipping icing sugar down at the bottom that needs to kind of just come into this. But... It's, it's getting there, and this isn't even all the chocolate yet, but it did say add that in, like pour it in over time. So this is, oh yeah. This, with a, just a bit more stabbing, just to get that, there we go. A bit more stabbing there, just to get all the powder out. This will work fine. All right, fair bit of mixing and the rest of the chocolate. This here is now, hang on, just have a quick bit of this. 
That just tastes like good buttercream. That's, that is really nice and sweet. Honestly, it's, it's maybe a bit too sweet. I think I might have slightly overdone the chocolates of the cocoa, but it is very sweet and chocolatey, and Claire's gonna flip and love it. So, um, slight concern. Now you may notice that in some ways it looks like the cake has sort of burst. It does seem to have sort of burst um, in some ways. And I'm gonna guess therefore, if I just give it a quick stab. Yeah, okay, still, yeah, pretty much just total liquid inside. Okay, I'm gonna go get Claire for this one. I think I need Claire's assistance. Oh, okay. you're gonna like this. Here, try the buttercream. Ooh. Yeah, I know, it's pretty good. Try some of that. <laughs> How good is that? That's, That's a pretty, pretty good buttercream. No, you can only have, you can't have, no! Claire, Claire, no! No, 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 stop it, Claire! Claire, no, no! So, while we're waiting for flipping original main cake to be done, Let's have a look see what we're gonna do with this one. Because let's see if this is now just like previously in fact, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you just you just it just comes out. It just Okay, grease paper or whatever it's called. That is that is the best invention in human history. Look at that! This is just like ready to be reused. It's, it's incredible! Right, okay. So that's that was easy. It's just wow! Oh, that's that's okay. This is in five years of making these, this is the greatest innovation yet. This is incredible. Oh, I've just dropped a bit on the floor. So, first things first, let's just quickly straighten up the edge a little bit here. So we've got ourselves that. That is a nice, even bake. No soggy bottoms. I would be in the finals of... Oh, and, and, and okay, okay, just, just for extra. Grab a little bit from the back here. Just put that on there. Lovely. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's really good. Oh, it's really good. That's so nice. Oh, it's made an excellent taste. So, let's talk about the design here. So, this here is going to be anomalous bits of tabby. So, the plan that I've got is I'm going to now just cut two long slivers out of this cake. So, these, this is broadly a long rectangle thing. So I'm just going to cut another one of them too, right here. There we go, and that leaves me with a bit left over at the end. So, these are going to be Tabby's legs. You might not believe it right now, but this, this is going to be incredible. Once we're done, this is going to be amazing. So, do not eat those, and don't let Claire eat them either. I'm going to be honest, I am currently being slightly guilty of, oh, I'm being slightly guilty of just taking this leftover bit and just dipping it in the bus cream and just having it as a snack. It's kind of nice. Now while I'm waiting for the main cake to be done, I may as well actually get phase two underway as well. So we got this thing right here, and I've got my new best up. Baking paper, I love you. And I've got my new stuff right here. So I can just basically shove that in. Hang on, I need to shove that in here. There we go. Just some more butter shoved inside this. And now I can prepare Tabby's head. Because Tabby's head, what Tabby's head is going to be, is it's going to be, we're going to kind of improvise it out of leftovers and two large cupcake shaped things where one bit's going to be like like one bit's going to be like the snout and one bit's going to be like the top of the head and then we can add i need something to no it'll be fine i'll be able to improvise a head out of this it's fine don't worry now i'm just going to spoon this mixture out of the container here just to make sure that we get a good amount because yeah there's there's enough left i've actually got my measurements just about right here so, um, Claire's shown up and revealed to me that apparently we have, like, special specific cupcake liners. So, um, Claire has decided to make herself a couple of cupcakes with the leftover batter that are probably going to... Yeah, they look a little bit neater than mine, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. But they're not gonna be as tasty, because mine are going to be the tastiest. Okay, flipping main cake has at this point had, like, three times longer than it was originally supposed to. So, moment of truth, uh, flipping again. In goes. Come on, 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 come on. All right! We got ourselves one clean, clean enough, clean enough knife. Like, maybe there's the tiniest, tiniest bit of residue, but screw it, it's it's done. That took a lot longer than I expected, so this, this stage has been slow. So screw it, that's now good enough. Oh my flipping goodness. 
I just pulled that straight out of the thing and it's it's just flawless. It's a flawless cake. I've I've created a perfect cake. Aside from the fact it's I may not have slightly buttered the paper well enough, but screw it! It's, this is this stuff's amazing! This this is this year's butter packaging, alright? Butter packaging, that let me down, that didn't have the things on it, but this! This is incredible. I'm never baking without this again. Like, maybe I'll just stop doing anything without this again. Maybe, like, from now on I will shower. I will shower with the greaseproof paper, because I'm sure it has utility there as well, somehow. So, the next trick is going to be extricating this thing from the, from the paper, which actually is pretty simple, all things considered. Just got to turn it, and then if I can just get the right angle, just lift it slightly. And then pull the paper out from under it, and we got ourselves a cake! So that's cake number two. I'm gonna be honest, from the bits I've just sampled around the outside here, some of the outside bits are a little bit on the burn side, and this bit's just a bit odd looking. But, we've got ourselves the beginnings of a cat here. We've got ourselves a body, and we got ourselves legs. We got ourselves leg one, leg two, body, and spares. We can construct tail and paws out of this bit. All right, we got the beginnings of art here. Oh, speaking of which, that reminds me. Um, right now we don't have a head, so I need to get the get the cupcakes into the oven. Now they will presumably be faster than 20 minutes, so I'll just keep an eye out for what they do. Right, that's the cupcakes now in the oven too. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. This is starting to get somewhere fast. So. Just so you know, hang on, can I, can I touch this? Can I touch this? Okay, that's a bit, that's a bit hot to touch. But the plan is, that's gonna be at like this angle, because the cat's gonna be like sitting up. So this is gonna be like um, Tabby's arse, and then this is Tabby's back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her sitting up, so she's gonna be at like that angle. And then I'll have her supported by these two legs. Now you're probably thinking, John, that's never going to work. Oh, oh ye of little faith, I have a plan. All right, we've now got ourselves the four cupcakes. They've all been checked with a knife. They're all absolutely fine. So I'm just going to start pulling them out and moving them onto... Oh, okay. We've got one small problem here. One small problem. Oh, life move. Um, which is because of the paper, some of them are slightly, slightly odd shapes. Because uh, the paper slightly... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're vaguely muffin-shaped. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're slightly... Oh, oh, that bit just came off. Bit just came off the bottom of there. Well, that's fine, because... Because actually, this one... That one already even looks like a cat snout. Oh, this is this is going to work. I'm also going to freely admit, yeah, this this is, is much easier and has produced much better results. Claire's little muffin things. Those, those are pretty good, yes. So yeah, th those are the ones Claire decided to put in, and this is, this is the one I decided to put <laughs> On the plus side, I can eat this bit, it's fine. Now, you're probably looking at, like, all of this and thinking, this does not look much like a cat. To which I would reply, that is just catastrophic failure of imagination on your part. Okay? This... This can be a cat. I'm just gonna have to let these cool for a few minutes, and then I think we're gonna be ready to go. So, we've got all the pieces over here on this bit, and we've got ourselves a main cake. It's time to build ourselves a cat. Now, the vague way that this is going to go is as follows. This here is the body of a cat. It's going to be sitting up like this. We're gonna be supporting that with legs and with legs. Okay, and then conveniently, this part that I'm going to admit just kind of broke, that is going to be a flipping perfect snout to go on the front of one of these other, other muffins. Like, I know it doesn't, actually it looks more like a dog to be honest, but you know, it, it, it'll do. It'll, it's a starting point. It'll work once it's decorated. So, let's consider this. If this has to be here, and these legs have to be here, then obviously we need to make some cuts to make sure that this actually works. So this thing wants to be at about this angle, give or take. Now that means that I now want to slice a little bit at an angle out of the bottom of this cake so that it more naturally sits at that angle. So now the cake looks like this, and this logically goes about here. That's absolutely fine. In fact, anything, I might make that just a tiny bit steeper so it's a tiny bit on the taller side. So, we got the basics of Tabby there. 
Now you may notice the problem that Tabby falls down. Well, we're going to resolve that right now using the legs. Now you're probably thinking these legs will never support that. Nah, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. This is where things get clever. Say hello to a returning feature to the kitchen from last year, the wedding cake dowels. Now the wedding cake dowels are basically designed to provide, you know, support into cakes. Admittedly, oh, hmm. Slight, slight problem. They're going to be vastly, vastly too long. Okay, Claire to the rescue because Claire owns pliers, so as a result I've cut things down to size, everything's good. So, the plan is, with these cut like this, we now have ourselves a couple of, this might be a little bit shorter, to fit in here. We have a couple of cat legs, uh, maybe if I just slightly, yeah, if I, there we go. So this, this is the start of the cats. And what we can do is we can use these dowels to support. Because they can basically push straight through and actually provide a little bit of additional support there. I think I need these to be I need these to be a little bit further back, like over here. So I might need to Yeah, actually, that there, that works pretty nicely. So now what I need to do is probably just put those straight through here. Before I do that, however, actually, do I even do I even need these? Is this this is I mean, it sort of free stands, sort of free stands, and it's, admittedly, it's, it's a little bit, mm, it's a bit wide for a cat, I'm, it's more of a turtle. This is a decent starting point right here, hang on, just rotate this so you've got the, the side view there. You see, from that angle it looks a little bit more cat-like, that is, that's not bad as a starting point, and these extra bits, ah, these extra bits, hang on, if we just move, if we move the cat, to the center of the of the thing. No, we see one of the one of the lights has just fallen off. This can now be yeah. If we just make a little change, that can be a little tail. That can be just a little tail out the back of the cat. We've got the start of a cat here. Right. With surgical precision, the dowels have been inserted into the bottom of the cake and then actually put straight through. So now, if I'm right, we should now be able to pretty much insert the dowel into the cake and now oh you see the problem is I, just, I didn't put that in quite the right order so I've kind of I've disrupted the the internal now if we put that about there and then okay this 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 hasn't gone spectacular okay this is fine if the cat's legs are slightly shorter then I can actually have it further back or this could be like a oh you see there's actually a problem with, oh there's a real problem with stability in this whole cake what I should probably do, okay, maybe I flip the cat. What if I flip the cat and say, okay, yeah, this, this looks like this is more solid. Uh, it's a bit more, it's a bit more solid. Okay, I'm going to flip the cat and we're just going to sacrifice this bit here. Admittedly, we're running out of cat. Like, I'm chopping off a lot of cat right now. So this is potentially not the best idea, but it, it's fine. So that, okay, that's now the rear of, the oh dear. There's now, there's now very little... Right, I need to, I need to actually, oh dear, um, I've, I've, I think I've cut off way too much cat at this point, it, it, it's a cat that has died by a thousand cuts. Okay, this now needs to go into, okay, now I need to shave a little bit off the, oh no, yeah, this, this is going to need to be, now the cat is way too fat, because the cat is now in, like, in scale is a lot small. Right, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shave a bit off the side of the cat, in order to just slim down the cat a little bit, because otherwise the proportions will be all wrong. Okay, this is going to be fine. So this is, this is, okay, this is the starting point for the cat right here. Yeah, okay, this is, this is fine. Now I just need to put the, what's going to be the shorter legs there. We'll just, we'll just trim a bit off the bottom of the legs. All right, moment of truth here. Moment of flipping truth. So we're just going to insert the, the dowels in to the new revised cake, provide a bit of support around the bottom. Okay, and then, then this this needs to be back inserted into here, and... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it hasn't actively fallen over yet. Okay, it's, it's, it's a little bit, it is smaller than I was expecting, but it is, it is holding together for now. It is a sitting cat. Now the other dowel is going to be a lot better because the other dowel is a lot longer. So, and I can sort of semi-construct that one ahead. I really should have iced this before I did this bit. 
I really should have done it that way. Right, so, my plan is, hang on, how, how is these going to fit together? If I was to, if I was to, I was to, I was to, okay, if I was to attach, like, a cat's head about here-ish, okay, and then, yeah, like, here-ish, and we have a dowel that's going all the way through the body and to the sticky-uppy bit, okay, I'm gonna decorate the head first, in case that's a problem. Now, in terms of decoration, the problem is because I need quite a, mm, yeah, I need quite a close glaze. Actually, would this, would this work better if I mix this one with an actual, yeah, if I mix this with an actual muffin that Claire made, then it's got a snout and a top bit, and once it's iced, you won't know. So what I'm gonna do is by hand, I'm just gonna take the buttercream, and I'm just gonna basically slather the buttercream all over this thing. And then I'm gonna pin it together with the dowels, and then we're gonna pin the cat head onto here. Now, admittedly, um, there are some small problems with this design. For example, um, the original design uh, was, you know, it was supposed to be bigger than this. So as a result, um, some of the other things that I've purchased to support uh, Tabby's head, they, they don't really kind of fit anymore so much. Okay, so the problem I've run into, uh, by the way, the bits I was working on, they're just in this bowl over here now. Um, the problem I run into is actually multifold. Uh, one, um, so the buttercream as an adhesive, as a plan, has not worked anywhere near as well as I was hoping it would. So I've got a dowel running straight through, through this bit right now. Okay, um, and secondly, when I tried to do this by hand, I want you to know, by the way, I want you to know, hang on. I bought a special brush because I thought that this was going to be a really neat process of me, like, you know, getting some, just, you know, getting some nice stuff and just going, oh, do, 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 do. oh it's going to be perfect and smooth and not like a cat. No, this, this turns out, this was more ambitious than my usual bakes. So if, in theory, I were to now put this dowel through here, right down to the bottom, oh, I'll put extra weight on, oh, I'll put too much extra weight on, oh, the legs, the legs ruptured, the leg has, oh, no, oh, no, no. No tabby. Oh ta oh tabby. Oh. Okay. So this this is oh no, the, the the cake also doesn't take the weight. Okay. Plan B. Okay, so this is is sort of a cat's head. That shut up it is. Stop laughing. Um right, so what we've got is we've got more stuff, which is honestly I I've prepared myself I've prepared some mints. Some mints. But Burma. Uh, this is where, like, this is, this is where, like, you know, we had plans. Like, remember that little, um, that water bath of melted chocolate that I prepared? That was so, and this brush, that was so that I could actually, hang on, just if I'm, I'm very careful here, so I could actually paint a, that's a little bit messy, next to how I was hoping for, but that's actually so that we could actually have, like, you know, actual cat size with a long, thin thing, but obviously like, I couldn't find a small enough brush, so it hasn't, it hasn't worked out desperately, uh, desperately well here. I'm just going to get some buttercream. Let's see if I can use a bit of buttercream. I mean, this 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 stuff sort of seems to work as adhesive, a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Let's see if I, okay, I'm going to see if I can just do a better a better second eye. There we go. And we just stick on the other eye. And oh, I had plans. I had plans for the nose as well. There was special confectionery for the nose. This one even sort of still works. It's a Percy Pig, which is a thing that we have in England. It's a little confectionery thing you can pick up at Marks and Spencer's. And now, hang on, I'll just get my, if I get my brush and my chocolate back, I'm just very careful. What I'm going to do now is add on, hang on, just need to add on one and two. There we go. You see, this, this was the plan for the head all along. It's just, well actually, no. The, the plan actually was the head was going to be smaller because this was supposed to be the entire flipping body. So the plan was the ears were going to be, I was going to paint Doritos with buttercream. Which now I say it out loud, I, I agree, that was a stupid plan all along. And the pièce de résistance, which I've been hiding in the background this entire flipping video. Hang on, we just kind of pulled it. Ah, ah, you see, hang on, pull this round. And just one little more of them. <laughs> okay, even by my standards, this is appalling. This is absolutely dreadful. Like, I, 
I went into this expecting better than this. I'm genuinely disappointed in myself. I can do better than this though. I can do better. I'm just going to just very quickly remove the eyes. Because what I think I can do is if I buttercream it up, I think I might be able to do at least something with the, the pattern. So at least it's not going to be like a 100% naked cake. It'll be fine. I'm just going to also just gently remove the... Just gently remove the nose. There we go. That's fine. The nose is good. The nose is the best bit. It's not saying much, but it is. Right, let's get some buttercream on here. Okay, I was wrong. That That's made it worse. Okay, I'm going to go for the big finish now, which was obviously... Well, okay. One, I, I originally thought that the icing was going to be white. And thus I could colour it to be the sort of grey-brown tabby colour. Because right now that that's not the colour uh, tabby is. Um, I was kind of hoping that was how that was going to go. Um, and then what I was going to do was I was going to use the last of the melted chocolate in a really cunning way. Which is, if I was to able to, like, yeah, get some on the brush here, what I was going to do was I was just therefore going to basically drizzle little lines of chocolate because tabby is tabby coloured, so therefore if we simply drizzle lines of chocolate down her, that actually creates the illusion of the tabby lines, and I could have actually mixed in some like some darker, dark coloration into that. You see now this, this bit actually looks quite, well it, it kind of works. Can <laughs> it just pull like a big, <laughs> evil, evil pick? Oh god. <laughs> This is the worst one. How have we gone backwards? This is worse than what we achieved in the first year of doing this. Okay, I think as tempted as I am to just throw this away, I think at the bare bit when we need to let Claire's in. Let's just let's get a good look at this. There we go. There we go. Ooh, ah, that's nice. That's flipping nice. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Okay, I'm bringing in Claire with her eyes closed right now. Okay, now Claire, before you open your eyes, uh -huh. I want you to expl I want to explain a few things. There's been a small element of mission creep. We had to slightly replan on the fly due to some slight technical issues that I couldn't possibly have foreseen and weren't my fault. Uh huh. So it's it's a little different from the original brief. Uh huh. Open your eyes. <laughs> Do you want to try a bit of tabby? Did you put a Dorito in that like you- No, there's no Doritos in there. That plan got- This is just a bunch of buttercream with some chocolate drizzled over the top of some cake. Alright, next. It's ludicrously chocolatey. Mm. See, okay. You see, the, the, the cake is actually good. Um, so what I'm going to suggest we do is- Because, hang on. I'm just going to quickly, quickly turn the attention here. So, there's, there's a fair few leftover bits <laughs> over here. So what I'm going to suggest we do, Claire, is we cake fondue, which is there's a lot of buttercream left over and there's a lot of cake left over. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to suggest that we simply have a cake, which would, would you like a cake fondue? Yes, please. Okay, so basically, in conclusion, we've actually realised that I've actually created something amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but in your defence, yes. Tabby is the most beautiful cat in the world, and so it would have been, you know, it was a tall order to reproduce how beautiful she is. Yes, this is true. This is, this is, this is true. I feel like in some ways we could have done better though. Is this the worst one I've ever done? I mean, it's not falling apart. There's no Did DVDs it? in it. That's true. Is it better than the wedding cake? I think it might be better than the wedding cake. Yes, not the worst, not the worst, not the worst. And so ladies and gentlemen, there ends the saga of the tabby cake. Not actually the worst thing I've ever baked, just kind of close. It's actually just the second worst thing I've ever baked. <laughs> I genuinely thought this was gonna be good. I thought my original plan of a small head with it, I thought the towers would provide enough support to make this work. I didn't realize it was gonna go this far wrong, but this this is not, this has not gone well. <laughs>
Happy fifth birthday, many a true nerd! It's our five year anniversary, five years since we started uploading videos and then it was just a weird thing I fancied doing and then a few years later I made it my job and it's not quite two years after that, it's like a year and a half after I actually started doing this as a job and here we are, I've just made possibly the worst cat cake and instead made some form of hideous rat pig cake instead. I hope you're all thrilled that you decided to tune in for this utter, utter lunacy. I hope you're all very, very happy with yourselves. <laughs> Thank you all so very, very much for being here, for joining me for this, and joining me in general, because yeah, that's what this is. It's not just happy birthday, it's a big thank you to you guys, because you guys will keep this whole mad train on the rails. It's all just flipping lovely. We will leave things off here, and Claire and I will try and figure out how to like, eat this. I know you just like, grab this and just, uh, just dip it in some buttercream and then just I don't try actually. It's really good. I'll we'll probably just eat it now. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll skip dinner tonight and just eat cake. Eat just kind of random bits of cake off a of thing. There's just so many bits of cake here. We'll just eat all of these bits of cake just dipped in buttercream and ignore the terrifying, horrible rat pig creature. Yeah. The nose was a good idea. The backwards Percy pig for a nose. That was a damn good idea. I'll stick by that. And hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, next year I can make something a little bit less catastrophically awful. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been the fifth anniversary special. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Claire, show off what the buttered packaging does. That's amazing! 25, 50, 100, and then 110. If you need to hide the butter, you just fold the packaging onto the butter, and it. I... That's amazing! <laughs> That's such a good idea! How long has Butter been doing this? Forever. <laughs>